Matchup tonight, Anthony. We got two undefeated teams, possibly the best two teams in the state. Yeah, they uh, both these teams are undefeated. It's going to be a shame to see one of them lose. This is going to be a really close game. Oh, oh, oh. Right to the left. And it's good. That's a great way for the Bayou Blades to start off the game. Really good hands there by Norris. She saw that pass coming the whole time, able to get the easy layup. Taisha Petty will bring the ball up. Try to set the offense up. Davenport in the corner. No, it's good by Norris. Michael Norris. Oh, under control. Oh. Ah, great defense by number 34. Olivia Jones. Big factor. Oh, the referees are going to meet here. We might have a Blackman ball. She's got a hit in 34. Blackman ball. Dangerfield will set up the offense now. Comes across half court. Everybody is really fast. Their defense is swarming. That's the reason that they they are undefeated right now. They play really good defense. The Blaze are going to have to get the ball down low if they want to get a lot of their points. Bond into Nora. Dangerfield to Johnson. Johnson three point line, great defense by Davenport. She's all over. Davenport, she's one of, she's probably Riverdale's best player. Turnover Blackman. Taisha Petty comes down. Good spin move. Still by Pollock. Wow. Minute and a half into the game. And Riverdale's already turned the ball over three times. Yeah, that's what Blackman's gonna need to do here tonight. If they can generate a lot of turnovers, that's really gonna help them get some fast break points because they need every one of them. 
Number 34, Olivia Jones with a tip and takes it away. Blackman ball. Michael Norris set to inbound. Jazz Bond, Jazz Bond down to Joe. Great shot by number 34, Alex Johnson. Johnson, really good at finishing in the post, and I'd like, I'm, I'm gonna see her. I'm, I'm sure she's gonna get a bunch of points down there tonight. She does a great job of positioning, great defense, but a great shot by number 33, Alexa Middleton. Wow, that full court press is really giving Blackman problems early in yeah, the first couple minutes. To, they need to all come up the court and set screens for each other so they can get people open to get that outlet pass. Patty will set up the offense, getting her call from Coach Corey Barrett. Corner shot, three's up, and it's off. Riverdale ball on the tip, out of bounds. Taisha Petty will inbound for the Lady Warriors. Military shot. It's up, it's off. Rebounded by Alex Johnson. And Dangerfield has a costly turnover as she steps out of bounds. Yeah, that's a, that's a way uh, Alex Johnson was expecting the press and she tried to get rid of the ball too quick and ended up turning it over. Davenport will inbound for the Lady Warriors. Taisha Petty drives. We're having clock problems. It's not moved in about 30 seconds. So the official will go over to the scoreboard. And uh, something that Riverdale is going to need to do here tonight is they're going to they're going to have to work the ball around a lot because if you can get the Blaze moving around, playing a lot of zone defense, moving to one side of the court, you're going to get somebody open underneath the basket. It's been a very interesting and Motion packed, a lot of movement, not a lot of points though. No, Both defenses are all over the place. They have, they've gotten pretty good shot selection, but defense just getting there, getting their hands in their face, make it. That makes a big difference. We're back now. They seem to have got the clock right. It's at 5:55 remaining in the first period, but now it's off. I think they're going to have the officials keep it on the court. Officials look like they're going to have Riverdale ball in the corner. We're going to go to a timeout until we can fix it. Well, we've got cross town rival Riverdale here tonight. And uh, what do you expect in the next four quarters from this Lady Warriors team? Well, they, uh, they're, like I said earlier, they're going to try to move the ball around. The Lady Blaze, I would expect they would be coming out in a 2 3 zone. And uh, they don't they want to have Riverdale try and take some shots from further away from the basket. So. Riverdale, if they can move the ball around as much as they can, they'll get somebody open closer to the basket to try to get points. And this game could not be more packed. These fans have came out to support their teams, and it has been not even three minutes into the game, and they are just... The capacity, this gym is filled literally to its capacity, and from what it looks like, there's literally people look like they're about sitting on top of each other just trying to squeeze into this gym. Inbounds to Petty. Petty will set up the offense. Davenport down in the post, good post move. Strong to the basket with great defense by the freshman, Jazz Bond. Down to the floor, I think we've got a jump ball. And it will be possession error in favor of the Blackman Blaze. And person to watch for the Lady Blaze is Jazz Bond. She's coming off of a fractured ankle injury, so it'll be interesting to see if she's 100% here tonight. Another interesting thing to be to watch tonight is Riverdale will press the entire game. And I watched Blackman's walkthrough today, and that all they worked on was breaking the press. Yeah, and uh, you have 10 seconds to get the ball up the court, and as long as you set screens and have everybody helping out. The offensive foul on number 11, Micah Norris. Petty will 
bring it up. Blackman showing their own case of a full court press, but Riverdale breaks it. Middleton to the basket and a great shot. That's something, that's something you can't do if you're full court press and you can't let them into the middle of the floor because that's when they're able to make all their passes and they get an easy Thank you, Phil, with a good break. She's got Johnson in the corner. Great pass and blocks. By number double zero, Shelby Davenport. Shelby Davenport really being strong down there tonight. She knows that the post for the, for the Lady Blaze is a lot better than Riverdale, so she knows she has to be strong down there tonight, and she's showing that so far. Inbound to Norris. Norris trapped in the corner by Riverdale. Great defense. Amanda Pollock with the recovery on a loose ball. She got Bondella off. That ball was off of Davenport. A great play by the freshman, number 32. That's great awareness there by Crystal Dangerfield. That's why she's such a good point guard. She sees the court so well. She knows the Riverdale players close. Able to throw it off of her and Blackman will retain possession. Dangerfield will inbound to Michael Norris. Bond at the top of the key. Good crossover move, and she shoots the three. Dangerfield and it's off. That's a good shot. Yeah, that is a very good shot. And if they can get more of those, I'm sure they'll convert. Alexa Milton with the shot, it's off. Offensive rebound, Davenport down low, and it's good. Great hustle by Milton with the steal. Down low. And the basket's good. Olivia Jones with the layup. This full court press is really killing the Lady Blaze right now. They've got to come up and set screens so that they can get more dribble penetration towards the half court line. Riverdale is just all over with the press D. Brightman cannot get down without a deflected pass or a turnover. They're really going to have to figure out something to do right here. Yeah, they, uh, they're they having trouble moving the ball around. They can't get anybody open. So the Lady Blaze really need to work hard to be able to get some more open looks. In for the Lady Warriors, Brandy Alley. And Olivia Jones will sit down. Inbound at the danger field. Set up at the new court. Bond passes off to Micah Norris. Got a four off five as the Riverdale Warrior falls down. Bond goes up and gets a rebound, but ripped away by number 32, Brandy Alley. And he runs good as he splits down the court. Taisha Perry with an easy layup. We'll have our first foul now with 335 remaining. And the first quarter, 10 to 4, your Lady Warriors. Anthony, what do you think the Lady Blazers are going to do? They're going to they're gonna have to start setting screens. They got to get they got to get more open looks to get passes to get up the court. And when they do get up the court, you've got to dribble until you know exactly what you're going to do with the ball. The Lady Blazers have been picking it up, and they're getting swarmed on on the offensive end. Got to think Coach Hipton has an idea when he knew coming into the game that Riverdale was going to press. He has to have a plan B to break the press here. Oh yeah, he's been I'm, he's been working on this game for quite a while. This is the one that he's definitely got circled on that schedule. So I'm sure he's got something ready ready here for the Lady Blaze. Well, we're back and Johnson went down to Dangerfield. Dangerfield trying to break the press here. Good pick by Miller. Down the key with a good shot. It's off. And Riverdale off to the off to the races. Davenport brought the ball up right there, and as you can see with her versatility, she can really do anything that she wants on the court. You can, you can put her anywhere on the floor, and she'll play that position for you. That's how much, that's how good of a player she is. Betty comes off the pick, finds Hurd in the corner, and the shot's up. No good. Rebounded by Miller. And we've got a jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of Riverdale. Taisha Petty and double zero Shelby Davenport will sit down. And this is where the Lady Blaze have to take advantage with the two of their best players, the Lady Warriors' best players off the court. They need to start putting some points up on the board right now. Number 33, Alexa Middleton, went out for the Warriors, finds oh, 
Good shot fake by number one, Tiffany Lewis. Great defense by Micah Norris. And a foul by number 20, Angel Allen, just entering the game for the Lady Blaze. This is something that I would expect. A lot of these bench players are going to get a lot of minutes in this game. This is going to be quite the physical game. Both teams are going to have to play really hard defense. And when you play physical like that, there's going to be a lot of fouls. So it'll be interesting to see how these bench players perform in this game. Middleton inbounds to Jones. Jones strong to the rope, and it's off rebounded by number 44, Morgan Miller. She's got to get up court here, but they, they can't let the press get set up. Michael Norris breaks, it's got 3 on 1. Shots up, and it's off rebounded by Johnson. And one. Off gets a foul card, and the crowd is going wild. And I think they called that for an over the back foul, but. Well, that might have been a little bit iffy, but these laughs under a lot of pressure here tonight. You've got to let the girls play there. There's been a lot of contact early in the game. Uh, I think that one's one you just hold your whistle and let the play finish. Yeah, uh, there's going to be quite more contact, so it'll be interesting to see how they call this game because that'll affect it quite a bit. Tyson Petty bringing the ball up court. Off to Jones. Jones with a crazy shot. Rebounded by Norris and chest bumped by number... 32, Brandy Alley. Johnson will inbound to Dangerfield as she brings it up. Blackman Lady plays, got to get something going on on offense. Yeah, they need to get the ball down low and get some easy layups. That's where they've gotten their points so far. They're taking a lot of shots and further away from Dangerfield the basket. Dangerfield has a shot and a foul by number 20, Taisha Petty. And Dangerfield will go to the line for two. And this is somewhere else they're going to have to really convert. Every time Riverdale fouls them, they have to sink these free throws because every point is precious for the Lady Blaze here tonight. Dangerfield misses on the first one. Kennedy Killing is coming in for Micah Norris for the Lady Blaze. Kennedy Killing's just back from a bad right knee injury, so hopefully she can light a spark under the Blaze. And the second one is good for Dangerfield as they were down. They cut the lead to 5-10 to ten with two minutes remaining in the first period. Davenport after the handoff from Petty. Good defense by number 23, Kennedy Killings there. Yeah, the Lady Blaze playing really well up top. Trying not to you got a camera right there. That's good defense by a freshman Dangerfield. Yeah, it is. She can, she's another one of those players out there that can really do it all, all over the floor, and she's getting a lot of college attention already as just a freshman. Middleton will come in the game for number 21, Janique Hurd for the Lady Warriors. Johnson to inbound here. To Miller as they try to break the press. Johnson across midcourt finds Dangerfield. Dangerfield to Miller. Miller with the shot and it's off. Tipped back to Johnson. Johnson with the lamp and it's good. That's good offensive rebounding by Johnson. She's all over the place on the boards right yeah, now. Yeah, she is. She's really boxing out very well and she's been making the most of getting those rebounds. She's got four points so far off of offensive rebounds. Patty will try to set up the offense. She picks up her dirt. Three pointer for number 34, Olivia Johnson. It's good. That was a heck of a shot right there by Johnson. Something else Riverdale is very good at is shooting three pointers. Good pass by Miller right there to get across the half court line without a 10 second call. And a good shot by number 32, Dangerfield. Shelby Davenport was all in her face. She got her hands up, and Dangerfield with really good touch there to get the layup. Betty will bring it across mid court. Looking to get the pick from number 34, Jones. Finds Lewis in the corner. Lewis drives back out to Jones. Jones for three, and it's good. And they're going to have to get a hand in her face. She's two for two from the three-point line in the last about 20 seconds. So. Lady Blaze trying to break the press again. They're getting close to the 10-second call. She's got to get across. She finds Kennedy in the corner, tipped by Olivia Jones. The Lady Warriors are just too fast for those lob passes across the court. 
No, you can't be making those long passes or they're going to get picked off. And they're a really fast team as well, so they get a lot of points off fast breaks. I think their athleticism is what's led to their success in the last couple years. They just seem to be producing girls that are quick, fast, and can do anything you can on a basketball court. Yeah, they, they don't have a lot of size, but they really move around well, and they know what they're doing, and they execute at every point of their game. Allie with a good cut to the basket, finds Bond behind the three-point line, a little too strong. The defense by the plays, and they get the steal right back. Down to Bond. The plays got to put up good shots. And another offensive foul called on number 20. Angel Allen. And Allen's got two fouls, so she's going to come out of it. No, they're taking Dangerfield out, but Allen with two fouls. So it'll be interesting to see how much longer she'll be playing. The midfield shot by Davenport. It's off. And after the first period, the Lady Warriors leading 16-9. We'll be back after a short break.